The health minister issued a stark warning on Wednesday as a COVID cluster at Taoyuan General Hospital added one new case for a total of 10. Minister Chen Shizhong told reporters that Taiwan is facing its, quote, greatest challenge since the start of the pandemic. He said the area of potential spread is wider than what Taiwan has handled so far. Officials are now racing to impose tougher rules to curtail the spread of the virus. It started out small, but one thing happened after another. Now, this can be considered to be the greatest challenge yet. The minister says he's encountered his greatest COVID challenge yet, and the hospital cluster is continuing to spread, adding its 10th local case on Wednesday. The new local case is patient 870, a relative of patient 839. Patient 839 had previously been identified as a close contact of patient 838. Patient 870 is a grandmother of patient 839. They live together. She's been in home isolation since January 11th. She hasn't gone out and there are no contacts to trace. To fight infectious spread in the hospital, the CECC has established an in-hospital command post. It's also working on clearing out the patients. Since Tuesday, ambulances and minibuses have been transferring patients to other hospitals. Over these two days, a total of 169 patients have been moved. Those transferred out from a higher risk area have to test negative before they're moved. Afterward, they have to stay in dedicated isolation wards. After 14 days of isolation or before they are moved elsewhere, they must test negative again. As for those who are discharged from Taoyuan General Hospital, if they were staying in higher risk areas, they'll need to isolate at home for another 14 days and get tested before the isolation period is up. Thirdly, there are a few patients who need to stay in Taoyuan General Hospital due to safety considerations and other factors. They have been put one to a room. Currently, 427 hospital employees are undergoing 14 days of isolation. Among them, 163 are doing so at a quarantine facility. The hospital is now missing much of its staff, but the migration of its patients is preventing it from buckling under strain.